that your neighbor, President Erdogan, doesn't want to pick up the phone when you call him. <laughs> well, uh, I remember after March 2020 when Turkey tried to weaponize migration uh, and send tens of thousands of desperate people across the Greek border, and we said no when we defended the border of Greece, uh, and we brought the leadership of the European Union to the Greek-Turkish border. Uh, President Erdogan was saying the same things. He doesn't want to talk to me. So uh, maybe he'll change his mind, but uh, uh, again, but at the end of the day, uh, on a more serious note, we're neighbors, we always need to, uh, to talk, and we always want to keep channels of communication open. We're never going to be the ones who will not talk to our neighbors. On the other hand, if President Erdogan thinks that uh, I will not defend uh, you know, the sovereignty and the sovereign rights uh, of Greece, and I will not make the case to the international audience that Turkey is behaving as a revisionist power, then he's wrong, because uh, what we've seen uh, unfortunately, over the past two months, is, uh, I went to um, uh, to Istanbul and had a meeting with President Erdogan, and it was I think I thought it was a good meeting, but then you know a month later, we saw an unprecedented number of uh, overflights over our Greek uh, islands, and this behavior is completely unacceptable, and I will raise that issue whenever whenever I can until Turkey uh, changes its uh, behavior.